sitting hospital ward you are talking to a 40 year old patient a heavy drinker who has just been admitted with gastritis let's look into the task now first one says find out the patient's general background that is family habits and general health second one says respond to the patient's questions about lowering alcohol consumption third one says advise him or her in a friendly way as we know the patient is already admitted we need to confirm the patient's name with the interlocutor during the preparation time let's take it as david we can start like hi good morning david i'm albert one of the registered nurses working in this hospital ward how are you feeling now then interlocutor may respond you saying i'm very much depressed about my current condition is i really don't know what to do then respond him saying i completely understand your situation mr david Prabhu, please note I understand that you've been diagnosed with gastritis. Is it right? Then interlocutor may respond to say, Yes, nurse, you're right. Then tell him like, Try not to be worried, Mr. David. We are here to support you and you are at the right place. Okay, David, do you have any idea about gastritis? Then interlocutor may respond to say, No, nurse, I do not have any idea about gastritis. What kind of condition is this? Then respond to him, No worries Mr David gastritis is an inflammation irritation or erosion of the lining of the stomach gastritis can be caused by irritation due to excessive alcohol use stress or the use of certain medications such as aspirin or anti-inflammatory medicines i hope you are following me Mr David then interlocutor may respond you saying yes nurse then can you do like Before proceeding further, may I ask you some questions regarding your condition? Then interlocutor may agree with that. Then continue by asking. Can you please tell me about your family? Then he may tell you like, I stay with my wife and two children. Okay, David. Tell me if you drink. Then he may tell you like, yes, nurse, I drink a lot. Then ask him. Okay, Mr. David, how long have you been drinking? Then he may tell you like, yes, nurse, I've been drinking for the last ten years. Then respond to him, that's quite a long time, Mr. David. How much do you drink on a daily basis? Then he may tell you like, I drink at least two to three bottles a day. Then respond to him saying that, thank you, Mr. David, for sharing all those details. Based on the information, I understand that you have been drinking excessively for the last ten years, and that is the main reason for your current condition. Are you aware about that? Then interlocutor may respond to saying, "No, this. I was not really aware of it. What can be done now?" Then tell him like, "I completely understand your concern, Mr. David. Let me explain you in detail. Please understand that the excessive alcohol consumption can lead to serious health problems like high blood pressure, heart diseases, stroke, liver diseases, and digestive problems. Also, it may lead to mental and social problems. But do not worry, Mr. David." I can suggest you certain measures to overcome the situation along with medications. Is it okay with you? Then interlocutor may agree with that. Then continue by saying, before getting into it, may I know if you have ever tried to quit the alcohol consumption? Then interlocutor may respond you saying, yes, nurse, I've tried a number of times to reduce the consumption. Unfortunately, nothing worked. I really don't know what to do. Then respond him saying, I really appreciate your great effort to reduce this habit. Mr David and I'm really happy to know that you are very much interested to keep drinking that is really appreciable but do not worry at all I can suggest you some ways to manage this alcohol consumption then interlocutor may tell you like thank you nurse whenever I stop drinking I feel extreme tiredness and shivering what should I do then tell him like I completely understand the situation Mr David as you know Alcohol consumption cannot be stopped all of a sudden because it's a gradual process. So it is highly important to reduce the quantity of alcohol intake on a regular basis. For that, you need to take a strong decision and reduce the intake of alcohol on a regular basis. Please understand. You may feel some kind of withdrawal symptoms initially. However, these symptoms will get subside shortly. If the withdrawal symptoms persist for a long time, you can have a discussion with your doctor. so that he may prescribe you some medications how does it sound then interlocutor may tell you like that sounds really great nurse then continue by saying along with that 
you can avoid situation that tempt you to drink and avoid friends who are addicted to alcohol. I know it must be a little difficult to avoid your friends, but you can convince them by explaining your current situation. I hope you understand the seriousness, Mr. David. Then in the look at respond you saying, Sean is, I can do it because my health is more important for me. Then respond him. Good to hear that, Mr. David. In addition to that, you can also join our Alcohol Anonymous program in our hospital where you can meet a number of people and you will get different types of ideas to reduce your alcohol consumption. They can give you more suggestions which will be very beneficial for you to get this habit. Are you interested to be a part of this group, Mr. David? Then he may respond you saying, Definitely, nurse. I'm ready for that. Then continue by saying, I appreciate your good decision, Mr. David. If you're willing to control alcohol consumption, you can definitely come back to your normal life. But it is very important that you make changes in your habits and lifestyle. Is it okay with you? Then, the look to me, agree with that. Yes, as I got it. Then ask him, Do you have any more questions for me? Then he may respond you saying, No, nurse. Thank you so much for explaining all the valuable information to me. It was so informative. Thank you so much. Then wind up the session if he does not have any more questions. You can wind up live. So far, we've been discussing about your current condition that is gastritis and different ways to manage your alcohol consumption. I hope you understand that. If you have any more questions, you can just ring the buzzer. I'll be here to assist you. Once again, I assure you that if you follow these instructions along with medications on time, you will get a better improvement shortly and you can get back to your normal life as early as possible. Thank you Mr. David for listening to me patiently and accepting my suggestions. I wish you a faster recovery. Thank you guys. Our role play MCR.